Okay, we're back for part two now. And uh, for this part, we're gonna be doing some examples. So example number two, find the measure of angle GHJ. GHJ, let me trace that out. So that's this whole thing. We have 23 and 36. So if we add the two small angles, we get the whole thing. So measure of angle GHJ is 59 degrees. So the measure of angle GHJ is 59. Okay, that was pretty easy. Find X, number three, and the measure of angle CBD. Um, the boxes are here because the printout was a little bit weird, so there shouldn't be boxes, but I apologize for that. So we want the measure of angle CBD, and we want X. Now, one thing that should jump out at you is that we have a right angle. Angle ABD is equal to 90. Now, that's the big angle. Well, if we add the parts, the two small ones, that should give us the whole thing. So we're going to make an equation here. If we take angle ABC, which is X, and we add that to angle CBD, which is 2x plus 27 degrees. Notice that these are written in the interior of the angle. That's how we usually write angle measures. If you add those up, you have to get the whole thing. Well, the whole thing is 90. So we have to make the equation. Now we're going to solve it. We can combine like terms. 3x plus 27 equals 90. We're going to move the constant by subtracting it. So 3x is equal to 63. 3 times x, we're going to move the coefficient by dividing. So x is equal to, that'll be 21. Now we have x, but we can't stop. We're not done. What did they ask for? Find x and measure of angle CBD. So we're going to take this. We're going to go back to the picture. I'm actually going to substitute this for both variables. So here is 21. Now this is 2 times x plus 27. So that's 2 times 21 plus 27. So we substitute the number now for the variable and we work it out. That's 42 plus 27, 69. The reason why I also substitute here, now we can check. If you add that up, do we get 90? Yes. So the measure of angle CBD, that's the other answer, is 69 degrees. So even though I only wanted that one, I did both because then I check, I know that I'm right. All right, number four. And as you're going through this, go ahead and see if you can come up with the equation. Pause it, see if you can get it, and then unpause and see if we agree. So we have two angle measures. We have, this one looks obtuse, and this one looks acute. Now notice there's 4x plus 2 degrees, so that's this angle here, and then this is 3x plus 3. Together, they make a straight line. They're adjacent, and they form a straight line. How much is a straight line? 180. There's your straight angle 180 degree relationship. So angle addition says that if we add the parts, we have to get the whole thing, which is 180. And now we solve. That's 7x plus 5 equals 180. We're going to subtract 5. So 7x is 175. Divide by 7. x is 25. Now again, before you move on, have we answered the question? What do they want? Find x, yes, and the measure of angle WML. So here's x, WML is this angle. So we're going to take our x and we're going to substitute 25. So that's 3 times 25 plus 3, which will be 78. If I substitute it here, 4 times 25 plus 2 is 102. Does that add up to 180? Yes. But the answer is measure angle WML equals and that's 78 degrees. 
In algebra, they give you the equation and they say solve it. In geometry, they give you the picture or the information. You have to make the equation. You have to see the relationship, then solve it. That's the challenge. So the algebra is still important, but you have to first know the relationship. So that's a higher level of thinking. Okay, we've got two more problems we're going to do, and one more definition. An angle bisector, okay, bisector, we've already talked about that word. That means cut in half. It's a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. The symbol for congruent is that equal sign with the little wave over it. That means they're the same shape, same size, basically they're equal. Now on the side here, if you bisect an angle, so that means we cut it in half, what it means is that this small angle and this small angle will be the same. If the two angles are congruent, then what we do is we draw these arcs, the same number of arcs. That means that they are congruent to each other. So if I say, uh, here's A, B, C, and here's D. That means angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. That's how we would write that. Okay, so if BD, ray BD, bisects angle ABC, that means these two small angles must be congruent. B is the vertex. Okay, so let's see if we can get number four and number five here. So problem number four, ray PQ bisects angle RPS. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to draw this. So the angle is R, P, S. P is the vertex because it's the middle letter. Ray P, Q bisects that. So from P, I'm going to draw another ray. I'm going to put point Q on there. Notice I actually put points. I don't label the arrows. I label points. So if ray PQ bisects angle RPS, then we know this and this have to be congruent. They're equal. Okay, let's label. Measure of angle RPQ equals 7x degrees. RPQ is 7x degrees. Measure of angle QPS is 10x minus 9 degrees. QPS, that's this lower one, that is 10x minus 9 degrees. Find the measure of angle RPS. So what we have to do is we have to look for some kind of relationship so that we can make an equation. Well, we labeled these congruent. That means their measures are equal. So we can say 7x equals 10x minus 9. If angles are congruent, their measures are equal. Now to solve this, I'm going to move 10x to the other side by subtracting. So we get negative 3x equals negative 9. And then the last step is divide by negative 3. So that becomes positive 1x equals 3. Now the question, what they want, is to find the measure of angle RPS, which is the whole thing. Let's take our answer, let's go back to the picture, and we're going to substitute that wherever we see an x. So 7x, 7 times 3 is 21. 10x minus 9 is 10 times 3 minus 9. 30 minus 9 is 21. So the whole thing, what do we do with the parts? We add them. So the measure of angle RPS that's going to be 42 degrees, 21 plus 21. And that's it. Look at all the work that we have to do. It's really important to draw the picture because that makes it more obvious what the relationship is. All right, we have one last problem here, number five. It's going to start the same way. Ray PQ bisects angle RPS. Let's go ahead and draw that. I'm going to set up the same picture. But this time the information is different. 
the measure of angle RPS is 25x plus 24 degrees. Now RPS is the whole thing. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to label this angle out here. I'm going to say 25x plus 24 degrees. That's for this whole thing. Measure of angle QPS, now that's the small one, is 16x minus 2 degrees. What's the measure of angle RPQ? Now this one, this is a different problem, and it's going to be a different kind of equation from number four. These are congruent. Now, I don't know what 16x minus 2 is. I don't know x. However, if this angle 16x minus 2, so is this, because I know that they're equal measures, because they're congruent. Now, again, I, I'm not going to say this equals itself, because I can't solve that. I just get 0. However, if we add up the parts, set angle addition postulate, if you add the two smaller angles, you have to get the big one, which is 25x plus 24. So this time, we're not setting angles equal to each other. We're adding them up to get the big one, to get the whole thing. So we can combine like terms, 32x, negative 2 plus negative 2 is minus 4, equals 25x plus 24. I'm going to subtract 25x, and at the same time, let me move negative 4 to the right side by adding. So we get 7x. This will just be 0. This will be 0, and this will be 28. Now, last move is divide by 7, because we're going to undo multiplication. x is equal to 4. Now, what we want, though, what is the measure of angle RPQ? RPQ is this small one. Let's take the 4. Let's go back to the picture. We'll do 16 times 4 minus 2. 64 minus 2, that's 62 degrees. This would also be 62. And if I want to check, I can also plug in here. 25 times 4 is 100, plus 24 is 124 degrees. 62 plus 62 equals 124. So it's good. Everything works. The answer, the measure of angle RPQ, is 62 degrees. RPQ is 62. Now you're going to look at this picture and say, that does not look like 124 degrees. And you're absolutely right. This should be obtuse. I didn't draw it that way because I didn't know that I should. It doesn't matter though. The reason we're drawing the picture, it doesn't have to be accurate in terms of the angle measure. It needs to be something we can look at so that we can see the relationship that this plus this equals the whole thing. And that is the end of the notes.